Hi, this is a short video which is just a little bit about my process. Uh, it's about some peonies in the garden that have been blooming. So how I've used the inspiration from those to work on a, a large abstract floral canvas. Looks like it's going to rain so I might not get much done but here's the big canvas that I want to work on. If you follow me you might recognise this from uh, month or two ago actually um i had started thinking i might be doing a landscape however the peonies in the garden have just blossomed and i just can't help but pay interest to them so i'm gonna do a bit more on that see let's see how it goes next essential for painting for me anyway get the footwear off um, in Scotland we call these your berries and I really like just having my feet planted on whatever surface I'm working on and obviously on the grass that's really lovely. So let's see the materials I'm going to use. Um, these are Liquitex I think, um, acrylic inks which I really, really love. These are some ink tents pastels which I haven't used much to be honest so I think some of the colours might come out such as this kind of dark oh can you see that there this dark pink there and these are Royal Talons wax um, crayons but they're water soluble so they're really nice to work with water of course. I reuse a uh, milk carton, just cut it out and you've got a wee handle as well. Wind is getting up. Um, you can still hear me. Um, I have got a kind of Chinese brush on a bamboo stick. Some of my favourite brushes and these are a couple of Da Vinci brushes, that big one there. And the kind of size one. Another that's a, a rigger so for fine lines again attached to a bamboo stick so I don't have much control and that's quite an important part of my process to kind of have a balance between control and taking your hand out of it. So let's see where I'm going to go with this next. So here I'm using my non-dominant hand, just again that gives less control, keeps things loose and I'm just looking at the direction that the leaves are going and just getting a sense of movement and some bits where you think oh the leaves are really quite waxy so getting a bit harder with the, the crayon. So kind of applying different pressures really important to get a sense of life and movement into the work. Okay, I'm no good at filming and painting, so I'm gonna stop there. So I've come indoors now because I quite like to work from memory as well. So it just kind of, I like to start by responding to the subject and then take it away so it doesn't stay too literal. So for instance, I have kind of put in that stem there very roughly, but I'll probably take that out to keep it in a more abstract shape. You see, I've kind of, Going in from that last photo and I've taken out and lifted off some of the water soil well in it tends because it was feeling a bit too dark and it still feels too dark for me so I kind of want more contrast between dark and light so that's where we're going next. So I've just brought you back into the studio just to show you where I'm at with this big abstract floral. As you can see this has changed a lot and I've kind of pushed myself to go with colours that I don't normally use too much. So 
this is a kind of lilac and yellow that I've used. Um, the main thing that I really wanted was a sense of light coming through and looseness. So I'm really happy with this where it's at just now. And it's not the greatest light, I'm afraid. But there's a lovely sense of movement and light and translucence there, I think. So I'm just going to rest with this now and see if I want to make any further changes. So I hope you enjoyed that wee video. I often get asked about my process, so I thought that might be interesting to just show you on one um, large canvas how I've approached it.